Sorry. Hello? <clears throat> Am I the only one here? Um, I don't think so. I think there's uh, three other people. I think Gilly, Nikki. Are you Nikki? I'm, I'm Jill. Jill. Who comes up as Jilly. Jilly. And uh, Nikki and Carmen. Uh, okay, because Judy was texting me saying she was trying to get in. One second. I'll okay. tell her to try again. Um, hello. hello, Tom. Oh, yeah, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. I know Jackie, too. Okay. Hopefully Jackie's there. I'll just get this camera figured out. Um, the video stop. Um, not sure why the video isn't working on that. Uh, it's the second one. Um, There's more people. Somebody's got a fair bit of noise on in the background. Maybe there's some people who haven't started making a dog yet. That's possible. Has anybody not started at all? Jackie, okay. Is there any, I'm curious if there's anybody else. I have it, uh, Tom. Okay. So who, sorry, I, I heard a voice, but I don't know who it oh, is. Jesus. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, I'm still struggling here. Uh, Carmen, from, Carmen. Carmen from Wexford. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, well, then you can, you can all, I suppose what we'll do is we'll just go through everybody who started before we kind of show you how to make it, but it's very simple. Um, I suppose for the people who haven't started making a dog, you could open up your newspaper so it's all opened up and ready to go. Um, and as every, how's everybody else? Is there anyone feeling like their dog is almost ready for papier mache? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm, I'm using it as like the prototype. I've decided I'm not shortening his neck. I looked up, there are some long necked dogs. Yeah, that's fine. That's and fine. He's, a, he's a cross, cool. but it's just, just to see how it's done rather than actually yeah. making a work of art. No, that's fine. And is anyone else ready for Papi? I'm just wondering, Tom, I'm, I'm nearly ready, but I could do, I was what, watching the video there, the head, I don't know, mine looks like a, a mirror cat or something. Okay, we could have, we'll have a little look at it. Um, yeah. So we're all gonna be at different stages, so everyone will have to be slightly patient um, and just bear, bear with the different stages of everyone else. Well, the video is very informative, so that's good. Cool. And then uh, anyone else? Judy, are you almost ready? Um, yeah. That look, yeah, that kind of looks almost, do you think it's almost ready? 
Like I can see it, but um, obviously you can see it better than me. It looks like possibly you could put a little bit more to make it the back a little flatter, perhaps. But it also looks very nice. Uh, possibly a little bit more in the back of the neck. But really, at this stage, it's really your shout because I can only see a, a very little photo. Although I can uh, pin it, can't I? Yeah, that looks good. I think if I were you, I would possibly put a little bit more on at the top of the neck and possibly this is all, yeah, if you like. If you like it as it is, it's fine. Um, can we look, yeah, that's, that looks good. Possibly a little bit more on the back, just so it's not sort of bowed, possibly, just in the middle. And can we have a look at the face and the, the head of it? Um, yeah, that kind of, <laughs> I think that looks okay. I, um, you could, if you want, like, again, it's really up to you. You could add a little bit at the bottom of the nose. So you're not just, a, yeah, just a little bit at the bottom, but you don't want to widen it where you, see where you just had your thumb. Yeah, just there. Yeah, where your thumb is, but you don't want to put, you don't want to thicken it up only at the end of it, really. Um, like, I can't hear you. Um, You're on mute. Oh, apologies, guys. Uh, Tom, I just, um, I folded some paper to make the ears, but um, do you suggest crunching the paper or folding it? Folding it is fine for the ears. Yeah, you yeah. can fold it for the ears. You could possibly add a little bit more so it's kind of slightly rounded shape. Yes, it's yeah. Quite abrupt, it's sort of like. Yeah, it's flat. Okay, 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 I'll do that. Make it a little bit rounded and then okay. Just pick up this one and then so there's a little bit here maybe where you could add a little bit oh then, yeah i i hear i get you yeah yeah make that bit a little flat here i kind of yeah okay 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 a bit here okay let's um, okay and then, how are you getting on um Um, <laughs> so yeah, can you, are you muted, Nikki? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear who you were asking. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm still adding little bits. It's, it's a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. I'll try and lift it up. <laughs> okay. <that's... laughs> it's still rather big. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. <laughs> well, great. Wow. That's the, mm. the hair. Oh, it's heavy, actually. Yeah, that's great. Looks... I can't really show it to you. I think, I mean, I'm just sort of still adding, adding bits. Okay. But um, I, what I, I think um, I'm just going to keep adding little bits and then I'd be ready to start the papier-mâché. Yeah. yeah, no, it looks pretty good. I think... Yeah, sorry, I need to put it down because it's quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of tape. And what about Aileen? Where's Aileen? Aileen Farnan. That's my sister. I don't know where she is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. She's there somewhere. Is she? Hang on. Hiya. Hello. Um, I'll show you mine. Thanks. Oh, oh there's a live one. <laughs> They're all a bit jealous. Yes. Yeah. Can you hold it back from the camera a little? So, yeah, it looks like it's needing a head still. Yes, yeah, and that, no, no head, no ears. And, yeah, so it needs a head and it needs paws. Yeah, yeah. But it looks pretty good beyond that, yeah. I think. I, I, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah. Maybe the front the, um, the, um... The front paws. Yeah, I have to do the pause. Okay. Yeah, the front pause. And then, yeah. then it's fairly good. Maybe you, you could thicken it up a little bit. Um, In here? Sort of under there. Under there, okay. Under there. It's the biggest. Yeah. That should be kind yeah. of the biggest bit. Because she, she's a big dog. She's a lot of so. Okay. 
And do this. The, and the, the, the pods. And you, you need to fold a piece of wire for the ears as well. Yes. Okay. Which is the, I do the best. Yes. Yes. Um, and can we have a look at the length of the head? And the head is here. <laughs> <laughs> That you might need to add a little bit of wire onto that to make it slightly longer. <laughs> so the you tail is that's the tail. The tail's good. Reverse the tail. <laughs> 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 well, you could, that that could be done, I suppose. But then no, uh, it doesn't. No, you've got a lot of work doing it that way. So, yeah, just if I were you, I would roll up a piece of wire for the yeah. head and extend okay. a little bit by about maybe ten or fifteen. Ten. Okay, yeah. Um, is anyone else not showing us or talked about theirs? Thank you. Okay. Is that everyone? Okay. I think the probably the best thing to do is so that people aren't waiting very long is show you have y'all got flour to make glue. I'm sorry I was supposed to send you that recipe, but it's just basically flour and plain water. So yep. you, I'm you, ready, ready to start. So everyone who thinks everyone who's not started, who's not just starting the dog now could probably make glue at this stage. Um, so basically, if you get a pan uh, or a bowl and you boil the kettle, fill a kettle and get your plain flour. And do you all have hand blenders or is anyone using a whisk? I have both. What's the what's the proportion? Uh, it's roughly about a cup to a litre. A cup. Yeah, I never. A cup is about. A cup is about that. Yeah. Much. American or British cup? Um, French, or a cup cup. French cup. <laughs> just a small amount. I don't measure it. I just pour it in. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I think you can't go wrong if the if it's too thick, you add more boiling water. If it's too thin, you add a bit more flour. So yeah. it's roughly, I don't know. I honestly don't know the measure if I'm totally honest. Yeah, yeah. But you really yeah, yeah. are wrong. Yeah, yeah. And do you just mix it up in a di in a bowl? Yeah. So basically, if you have a hand blender, yeah, you, you can pour the. It doesn't. It works either way. You can. I think you're probably better having flour in the bowl, pour the water in, and then just whiz it up with the hand blender. Oh yeah, I know. You add the water to the flour, definitely gradually. Yeah, you can do it gradually. Like I tend not to. Yeah, just, just when you have a hand blender, <laughs> it almost doesn't matter because you've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All up. And how what should how thick should it be like? Um. Well, see, it cool as it cools. Cool. It should be like there's some there, and it's kind like of, wallpaper paste. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like fairly. It's not jelly. Like sometimes when it's cold, it goes like jelly, and that's also okay. Um, so it shouldn't be very, very runny. But one thing that's quite important is if the water's not boiling, it looks kind of white and it's floury. And you want it to be, you want the water to be boiling and that the paste looks not floury and white. It's kind of, it, you see the gluten coming out, I think, and it looks more. Okie doke. Well, I'm going to go, I'll leave you on here, but I'm going to go, I'll put you, me on mute and I'll go do my, my. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Anyone, and if anyone's not got a hand blender, has everyone got a hand blender or? Like a whisk. Yeah. 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 If you're using a hand whisk, then what you normally do is you make a, with tepid water, you whisk it up and then you add the boiling water to that once you've got it mixed in well. Okay. You add the boiling water gradually and you can also heat it up then as well. And then you you're making sure that it's not flowery and white. And does the glue last for a while, Tom? Or you know, would you need to use it within a short space of time? Um, it should last. Like you can keep it in the fridge, and you can keep it probably in the fridge for about uh, probably close to a week, five days. Oh well, okay, okay. Uh, if you don't have it in the fridge, it'll ferment probably over twenty yeah. two two days. It depends how warm okay. it is, but you can start to see it fermenting, and then then yeah, you wouldn't use it, but it keeps fairly well. And it's quite okay. nice to use when it's warm as well. So like when you've just made it, it's quite nice to use. And obviously don't stick your hands in it when it, when you've just made it. You can add oh, yeah. it water if you like. 
Okay. Um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, so I suppose, like, people, yeah, if you're, if you're thinking you're going to be, most of you should be making glue, I think, because you will be papier mashing after you've done a little bit more. And what I'll do is I'll try and set up the, the two, the two uh, who are just starting it now. Yeah. Can I ask one quick question about my head before I go? Sorry, no. Yeah. Should I add another bit of wire to that head? Yeah, you could add another bit of wire to it. You could get away without it, but it it's just gives you a bit more structure to add to. So yeah, add 10 centimeters and take okay. it really well. And then remember the main shape was putting a ball between the ears. The ball between the ears, yeah. And then, then working on the, the sort of muzzle so that you've got a sort of curvy shape. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, thanks Tom. Okay. I'm going to put myself on mute too, so you can. Okay, cool. So, um, so yeah, if everyone's okay to work away, like I'll keep on coming back to you. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat and I'll try and come back to you as we go. And then Carmen and was it Jackie? Who are just making the dog now. So um, basically, I'm going to show you the, the PDF thing. So I'll see if I can work out how to do that. Um, um, are you sending the PDF? Yeah, I'll put, I'll, I'll put the PDF on, which will hopefully give you an idea. I sent right. you already, but um, we'll just run through it again quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so three pieces of wire. Yeah. Um, and where's the next one? So yeah, three pieces of wire. That doesn't look right. Oh yeah, that started at the end. So um, yeah. So basically, yeah, one piece for the two front legs, one piece for the back front legs, one piece from the tail to the nose. Are you two making small dogs or big dogs or medium dogs? Uh, and we want to do a, a long dog. Like a, I, like yeah. a fashion, is it? Yeah, exactly, like an Afghan, yeah. Okay, and uh, is the other person Jackie? So yeah, basically that's that's it. So three pieces of wire, and then there will be a piece for the ear, but you don't worry about that for now. Um, and then if it's a sitting dog, it has slightly longer front legs. Okay. Um, uh, so this is really where you're deciding the actual end shape of the dog. Obviously, if it's got really short legs, it's going to be a short dog mm -hmm. and long body. Yeah, so that's very easy. Um, so are you making a dog like this one? Like this. Yeah. That, well, that sort of shows you roughly. There's a cat. There's a cat here. I'm just gonna let it. Yeah. The the um, the um, the tail. Is it the continuation of the body, or do I have to adjust another piece of uh, wire for the tail? No, the tail. The tail is another piece of wire. No, sorry, it's, it's the same piece of wire. Three pieces of wire. Okay, three. Uh, okay, that's yeah. So from there, from the nose. Yeah, yeah, to the teeth. Yeah. yeah. It's one, right. One piece of wire. Okay. So yeah, okay. three pieces of wire. And then that's a, a sitting dog. So the front legs are bent like that. And then, yeah, so basically you cut three pieces of wire. If it's, um, yeah, if it's a small dog, they're probably, what sort of dog are you making? Is it like a Dachshund dog? 
like a, um, like a Russian doc, you know, the, the, the ones that you have there in the, in the PDF, there is the long one, like okay. an Afghan or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah. a small, small long dog. Uh, um, no, a uh, high, tall, like, tall, like, like, like the thin and tall, the thin and tall that you have in the other PDF. Okay. Sure, right. Yeah, that went on there. The thin mm -hmm. and tall. Okay. Well, you kind of roughly like the wire for their legs. You basically half the length of the wire will be roughly the height of the dog. So that's a good way of gauging how long to cut the wire. So uh, I suppose the first thing to do is to cut the three pieces of wire. So, um, let's see. Major, do it with you. Um, so you're cutting three pieces of wire. Um, I'll put it as well. This will be the same, and that will be for the legs. People mute themselves because uh, we're, we're hearing people's radios and things. Okay, so if you're not making a dog, if you're not making a, the frame, you could mute, please. Thanks. I think it's gone now. Um, so, so two, two for the legs and then the tail should be a bit longer. Like this isn't, if you cut it, um, too short, it's not a problem because you can add to it. And if you also make it too long, you can either bend it back or you can cut it shorter. So this isn't really crucial. You know, if you get it wrong, you can always adjust it. You want to straighten the wire and then you're rolling it up in newspaper. Um, so you, you kind of roll it. Um, I always tend to roll it diagonally because it's a bit faster and roll it up with about three sheets. So, and it doesn't have to be too tight. Um, and rolling it. And then what you do is you bend, bend the ends back in like that. Okay. And then you take that in place. Um, when you use the tape, it's quite good to put your, your finger on it like that your thumb like that and then go around it. Um, and then, yeah. Okay, and then you, um, you basically take that up. Okay, and then you have to do that with the three pieces. So I think maybe I'll let you do that and we could make, is that okay? Do you understand what you have to do? So once you've got three pieces of wire, it won't take you very long. I'll come back to you and maybe in the meantime, you can have a little look at someone else's. Yeah, that's no problem, Tom. I, I, I understand perfectly. That's great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks. So does that- Tom, can I, ask, can I ask you a question, Tom? Um, yeah. Is one liter of water enough for the small dog? <laughs> Um, um, yeah, it is yeah. like that should be enough glue for today. Yeah, it should be. Okay, okay, okay. super. Thank you. No worries. That should be fine. Um, has anyone else got a question? You don't, maybe you're all grand. Cool. Yeah. Nice one. 
so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one as well. Tom, this is what my paste is like. Is that sort of what it should be like? Um, I can't see it. Sorry. Uh, there I am beside you. No, that's totally fine. Is it? Yeah, um, yeah I'm sure that's fine. Yeah. It? it doesn't look flowery, does it? It's a little... No, no, because I put, I poured on boiling water and then I actually cooked it on the sauce, on the that's stove. For a Perfect. Yeah, that's that'll be that'll be fine. That'll be good. It's just too hot to touch. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, pour if you pour it into a bowl. Yeah, you can take it from the edge, or you can even add a little bit of cold water to it. Tom, do you add salt to the glue to avoid the 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 mold, or or no? Uh, you can do that. You can add clove oil. I almost never do, but right. clove oil is supposed to help prevent mold. Okay. But if you keep if you keep the dog in a dry place, you probably won't need it. But you can use you can use clove oil. Yeah. Um. So I think it might be worth showing the people. Well, once everyone's got glue ready, I'll show you how to how to do it. It's very simple. You might it, like once I've shown you, you probably won't have any problem. Um, also, do you have cardboard? Cardboard and newspaper. Yeah. Like I think the best thing, like you can either do it so I'll just get some cardboard. So basically um yeah, the cardboard you um you tear it up into bits about this big. And then you soak that in water. So you, you soak, you can soak it in slightly warm water and it works faster. You soak it, uh, you push it under the water for about uh, five or 10 minutes. Uh, and then, then what you do, once once it's been soaked, you roll it up and you squeeze it out. You don't twist it because that breaks the card, but you squeeze it out from both ends to try and get the water out of it. And then you open it up. And that's one of the one of the things you do for the papier mache layer. But I kind of think the best way to do the first bit is to do it with um newspaper. So a couple of layers of newspaper and then a few layers of cardboard. So the first layer will be newspaper anyway. Um, so uh, I think people are away making glue, maybe. Oops. 
So how's the armature going? Um, I'm watching it and tomorrow in my own time, I do it, right? I have the wire cut, I cut it yesterday. And you and I want, yeah, I have that part, of, but I haven't ensembled yet. So, okay. so, but you have it rolled up with newspaper? Yeah, I do. So the two pieces that are the same length, what you do? Yeah, that's the legs, no? Yeah, that's the legs. Right. And you bend them in half? Yeah. Uh, both of them? Mm -hmm. And then what you do, you decide which end is going to be the tail. Mm -hmm. Like if one end is thicker, mm -hmm. one end is thinner, use the thin end for the tail. And I'm going to call this end the tail. So I mm -hmm. more or less decide how long I want the tail to be. Uh, and then you put the legs over it like that. Okay. So yeah. going over it. And then you get the tape. And you, and you take that on. So you go around it until it's kind of taped on. Um, there's, there's no demo. Nikki, there's no demo for putting on the newspaper with the glue. Mm -hmm. All right. To do that. Yeah, are, are you going to show us that? Yeah, I should show you that. Uh, right. Maybe we'll just get this. We could just do these armatures. Oh, yeah, no, there's no rush. I just didn't want to miss it. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I could show you. It's always starting the side. Um, so. Whoever has that radio on, because they please turn it off. It's really distracting. And then, yeah, either turn it off or mute it, I suppose. Um, and then you do that. So you're deciding the length of the body. The back legs will go back. Um, so when you're deciding the length, you know, if you want a really long dog, then you'll need to add a bit more for the head. That's obviously too short. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for about that length, and then the same again. Then you take that up, take that in place. This tape is very brittle; it's breaking very easily. Okay, and then you get you get the newspaper. You take the newspaper like that along its length. And you fold it down so along its length like that. And then you use that almost as if it is a piece of string. So you're going round and round. And you want that to be quite tight. Like that will just hold it in place. Um, and then you take that on. When you're using the tape, it's quite handy when you're breaking it. If you can break it, you might want to use scissors. But if you keep your finger when you're breaking it, you can find the tape easier. Quite handy. Um, I think what I'll do though is I'll show people who are, maybe some of you have already started, which is totally fine, but I'll show you the papier mache bit. So I, I think the best way is probably to always do it with the dog on its side. I don't know where that top, yeah. So the dog's on its side. Um, you, <coughs> you get your hand and you, you put it in the glue. Some people think you put the newspaper in the glue, but I prefer to put my hand in the glue because then you can control the amount of glue easier. And then you put a little bit on the dog. And then you get, cover the whole dog in, in newspaper, maybe a couple of layers. And then you get some glue. 
you put it on both sides, you kind of you can even scrumple it up a little bit. And then it's really just a case of layering it up and you can do that as well. So there, that's already four layers of newspaper. And then you just add it on. Um, and you can add, add a bit more. And you just make sure the place that you're sticking it, it's stuck down. Like the first layers, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of gaps, but as you do it, you want to make sure there's no air, air really, I suppose, that it's totally tight and stuck on well. Uh, then doing the legs. Um, under. Oh. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, kind of doing the belly first, like doing the underside. The weak parts will always be here. The bits that are difficult to do will be the bits that you naturally don't give much attention to. So like the ears, the tail where the tail meets the body under the legs, they're always kind of weak bits. So um, I, my camera's gone off for some reason, the other one. So, but basically cover the whole thing. Like you do that side, then you turn it over, do this side and then you do the top. I always, I always do it that way. And I think the reason is that um, then this, this bit, you, you don't, it doesn't fall off here as you're trying to do the, like if you do the top, you're more likely to sort of mess with the sides, if you know what I mean. It's better to do the last little bit where it's standing and it's all, you know, more secure. So just as a rule of thumb, I think it, it does make sense to do it at the top. Uh, one thing that I sometimes do, like for example, that dog there, you can see it's got quite wide. So what you can do, if you want it to stand like that, as it's drying, you can put tape around it or not tape, actually string. You could do it with tape, but string's better. So you can tie them legs together with string. And as that dries, once it's dry, it'll stay in that position. So if your dog is really too wide or if you're repairing it at some point and the dog has gone like that, then you can tie it in position while it's drying and it will hold that position. Um, you can work lead, uh, you can work directly with the cardboard, but I think it's quite good to have the newspaper because then it, it makes a nice fast layer. Um, and the cardboard basically, yeah, um, you tear it up into, you tear it up into pieces. Where did I put it? Oh, I have it. I'll just find it. I think I showed you already, but I'll show you again. Yeah, roughly this size. Like that's quite big. You wouldn't want it much bigger than that unless you're doing a very big sculpture and you might use bigger sheets. But you soak that in water and then you roll it up and squeeze as much water as you can out of it. But like I say, don't twist it because that'll break. It'll especially break the corrugated part. Uh, before you tear up the boxes, especially if you're doing a lot, take the tape off. Like if there's any tape on the boxes, because it'll just be annoying. Once you got to this stage and you're soaking it in the water, you don't want to have to take off tape as you're putting it on. Um, and then you can basically add, you can add probably about five or six layers. And if you have a warm place, it'll dry. And then if you can come back to it and add more layers, it'll, um, yeah, the, the more layers you add, the stronger your, your dog will be. Um, has anyone got any questions on, on that? No, is that all? Tom, how, how long did it take it to dry between the five layers and the five layers? More or less. It's, it really depends. Like if you're in a warm, sunny country, you'll dry in maybe even five or six hours if it's really yeah. warm. Uh, if you're drying it next to a radiator, it'll dry fast. 
You can like, if you're in a really big hurry and you're making something small, you can turn the oven on and then let it warm up and then turn it off and put the sculpture in the oven and then let it dry. You know, you can speed up the drying that way. You can use a fan heater to speed it up. Uh, what we did when we were making lots of dogs is we made an area like, it's like a big table basically, but you could, it didn't have, yeah, it was kind of like a sealed area under a table and we just blasted it with fan heaters. So you can kind of speed up the drying. The main thing is that it's in a warm, dry place. If it's sunny outside, sun and wind is also good. It should dry in a warm place. It should dry overnight. But you don't really want to add lots more layers until it's dry. Um, so that, that's kind of it, really. Um, yeah, like, yeah, don't add, don't make them really, really thick until they're, yeah, each, each time let it dry and then add more layers and that way it'll be, it'll be better. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, it's fairly simple. Like at that stage, it's kind of like, there is things you can do, like even once it's dry, if there's any holes, you can use the newspaper to change the shape. So, but the thing I think probably is that you just cover it first and then I can show you a few, I can try and show you a few little ways you can change it afterwards. Uh, Cause you can still, you can still change the shape. Um, once, once you've done cardboard, if you want something really smooth, you can also sand it with fairly coarse sandpaper. Um, and that, yeah, that would be, eventually you can get something really smooth, but if you're planning to sand it, you wouldn't really sand it until you've got something really, really thick. Um, so, yeah. Is that clear enough for everyone to do the papier-mâché? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, Tom, that's that's uh, that's good. Um, the glue is kind of lumpy. Is that that's normal? Is it? Um, yeah, mine isn't very smooth. I think if you have the hand blender, keep on going a little bit. Okay. Um, it's better. Yeah. It's better not to be lumpy. Like you get a skin on it, for example, as well. But just uh, yeah, you. Don't have loads of lumps in it and especially you don't want flowery lumps i could put in the nutri bullet <laughs> yes i'd do it that'd be great that'd be, that'd be amazing glue i'd say but uh yeah it's it's i think it's the best glue for doing papier mache it's probably the most environmentally friendly way of doing it. And it's also, it's a very good sticky glue. Um, so yeah, like I did used to use wallpaper paste, but that's not, in comparison, it's not very nice. And I'm sure it's not as good for your hands to have it in that stuff. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Cause I was making my glue. Do, are we meant to have our brown cardboard soaking or is that for another night? Um, no, you could do that tonight as well. So okay. yeah, yeah, you soak it for about 10 minutes in tepid water. And then what you do is you, and it's roughly about that size. So it's, if you've got sellotape on the boxes, take that off first. Take that off, okay, yeah. And then you tear it roughly into that size. It's kind of, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can see like a hands. And then soak it in either lukewarm or warm water. You can do it in cold water if you don't have warm water. And then you basically soak it until it looks like it's starting to come apart. Like okay. it'll naturally come apart. And then what you do is you roll up, not one sheet, you roll up maybe about 10 sheets all together. You roll it up and then you squeeze out the water. In both okay. Because the less water it has, the faster it'll dry. Um, Thank you, Tom. And, you, and then, yeah, you don't want to twist it, you know, you don't like, yeah. it, like you might wring a towel. But um, yeah, you can also like use that 
tomorrow, you know, the cardboard will be slightly drier tomorrow. So it can in some ways actually speed it, speed it up. Okay. When you, the first layers I think should be newspaper. And then when you come to use the cardboard, sometimes the cardboard is very, very thick. So if you, certain cardboard is, so when you get a cardboard that's really, really thick, right? If that was really thick, I would make sure and scrumple it up. Okay. In the glue, okay. like I'd stick that in the glue and I'd scrumple it up in the glue. And then the most important thing is that you get it stuck on the shape so it's not hanging off. Like yeah, so you're still kind of molding a little bit with the paper, kind of smoothing out any bumps and lumps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much yeah. the the paper you're sticking on is sticking well to the shape that you've made. Okay. Thank you, Tom. That's I'll mute again now in case anybody. No problem. That's all good. Okay. Um so maybe how's how's the armatures coming along? Hi Tom. I'm how tightly do you scrunch the paper before you sellotape it on? Do you kind of loosely scrunch it, you know, um, or do you make it quite firm before you, you, you know, because I'm just doing, like, I'm flattening, it's flattening a lot, so I'm, I think I'm not doing it right. No, have you got the two legs done? I have the legs on. Okay, in that case, what we'll do is we'll do a little exercise, Jackie and Carmen. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is take a, a piece of paper. Yeah. So you both get a piece of paper. Sure. Uh, and for me, this is the most important part in the workshop. Uh, so what, you, what I want you to do is make it into a ball. Yeah. Into a ball. Okay. okay. So you've got a ball and then open it up. Are you doing this, Carmen? Uh, are you hearing me? Yes, yes, I'm doing it. Yeah, okay. And I'm then, have with my camera. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to have your camera. And then yeah. what I want you to do is open it up and make it into an egg shape. Okay. And again, you're not worrying too much. Doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, you're roughly going for an egg shape. It's slightly different. You're feeling the thing. And yeah. Okay. okay. That's good. Perfect. And then open it up again. And this time, put it into banana. A banana. Banana. A banana. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not not really exact by any means, but it's roughly a banana. Okay. And then, and then open up again. <laughs> Make it into a triangle. Pyramid. Triangle. Okay. Okay. I'll kind of fold it up into a smaller one. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and so that that's good. So and that, that would that would quite often be huh? roughly the shape. Ah. Ah, okay, okay. That's lovely, perfect. Like one thing you sometimes get in a workshop, you say you say to someone, okay, so you need to make this form here. Which is a big, mm -hmm. big oval. And you get some people and they take a newspaper and they scrumple it up. The problem with that is the softness. And you know, I, so shaping it because it's it, all the newspapers together. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying don't use a whole newspaper, but take it like single, single sheets. You know, crumpling it together. 
and you're making, so I want you to make an oval shape. Uh, that's basically for the here. In that case. Oh, actually, oh, I did show you how to do this. Did you both do this? Yeah. I, no, I, I, I did a round like you did before, a round very tight. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I didn't do it yeah. in the front, but I'm going to yeah. cheat and not going to bother. Okay. And then you take that in. And you take. So with the tape, you don't need loads of tape. You only need enough tape to hold it in place. Right. You don't need to go sometimes. Yeah, you don't need to go round and round and round, but just enough. And then, so that actually, are you both doing standing up dogs? Yeah, mine is standing up anyway, yeah. Yeah, and is yours Jackie? I was going to do a kind of, you know, bum in the air and the, and the, the front legs down, you know, bending yeah. down. That's perfect. Yeah. But at the moment, it's the same same process. Okay. How big is your dog, Jackie, out of curiosity? Can you hold it up? There, about that size. I think I've made the body too long. I think you have, yeah. Yeah, so, I think, well, I just take off, I'll take off uh, you this try, here. Try doing this, try pushing it like that. Push it, you know, try pushing it back like that. Oh yeah, okay. I lost him there. See, if I turn it like this and push that like that. That's a bit better. That's a bit better, that length. Yeah. That is. I'll fix that in a minute. I'll fix that up again. Yeah. It's, yeah, I think that's better. But, yeah, it's still it's quite long, but maybe that's okay. Do you think? The, the head there. So Maybe shorten it a little bit more if you can. A little okay. more, otherwise it's a very long dog. No bother. And do you have a tail? Easy to just take it off and put it on again. Maybe, yeah. That's good. Yeah. So that would be the tail. This would be the head. There's the head, the head's usually not no, the head's longer than the tail, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, it is a model. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought, yeah. Yeah, normally it okay. would be. So like that, that size. Yeah. yeah, that looks good. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so I'll fix that. Thank you. I'll put you on mute again because I don't want to be disturbing everyone. No, it's okay. No, we were all uh, off mute guest on Wednesday, so it's fine. People, if people have questions, you can just, because there's not many people, I don't think this would have, I'd have been curious if there'd been 50 people, what would have happened? It might have been really bad. Well, a few of us know each other here, so I, I know a few of the girls, so we'll, we'll take ours for a walk anyway, I think, <laughs> even <Yeah>. if we can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if anyone wants to ask questions as we go, that's fine. So I'm gonna. I'll I'll make this as 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 we go as well. Thank you. Okay. The front bit should be sticking through the front legs, so it actually sticks through. Okay. Yeah, but the back doesn't actually stick through. The back kind of ends. It just ends flat. Yeah. yeah. It goes through the legs, but it doesn't stick beyond the legs. Okay. Yes, I get you. I have two small dogs here that would feel very threatened if this is bigger than the money anyway, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> I think mine's a little thin still, it's a little, so I'm going to okay. add here. Yeah, so we just keep adding and adding, you know, kind of balls yeah. ball up bits for you. Scrumple the paper, because when you scrumple it, it makes more volume. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. If you hold it flat, it's no use. Yeah. And then. Okay. Right. 
and having it running along the length is also like making a shape. So So that's the tail and I've done. Uh, oh yes, yes, I've got to do this first. Very tough. I wind this bit along the, the tail end, don't I? I take a long piece like that and I I I kind of do it in a figure of eight around the tail. Around the tail to make the tail. The, the, um, at the back, you know, there was a, there was a long piece that you got, and you wound it around the was it the neck or the tail end? I, sorry, I can't hear you. Um, was it attached to legs? Yeah, I think I know we did a lot of sellotape around the back bit, around the by the tail end. But I thought you got a long piece of newspaper and you wound it around that area as well. Yeah, yeah, like when you go to attach the legs, I'll just get a bit. All oh, right, okay, okay, all right. Um, okay. Yeah, this is, this is a small dog. Oh, he's cute. Okay. So you wouldn't need as much, but yeah, what you do is it's it's kind of what you do is you're kind of wrapping it round. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like, I think it's like lashing, you know, like tying with rope. Yes, I get you. Yeah. We're starting a hindquarters kind of idea. Okay. Yeah, it just makes Lovely. Yeah. Perfect. Um, can I just ask you a question? Because I'm after just having had to sieve my glue. It was like every white sauce I ever made. <laughs> No, I'm ready to go. Am I meant to have smaller pieces of paper for the gluing on, or? I'm trying to make it quite a bit. First, you stick, stick your hand in the glue. Yeah. All over the paper on both sides. Okay. You can, do, you can fold the paper. I'm not going to Just, yeah. I'm going with this. But you can just make sure that the paper is all covered in glue. Like okay. when you're doing the dogs, you don't want to see lots of glue on the surface. Like if you're seeing lots of glue on the surface, it's too wet. Oh, okay. Uh, so so you, drier. You, yeah, you want it to be stuck on, but you, you definitely don't want the paper to be dry. But okay. you, you also don't want to see loads of glue, you know, forming on the surface. Okay, thank you, Tom. I have to wash my hands now before I mute myself again. Tom? Yeah? Hi, it's Nikki. Um, I, I'm going to take my dog out into the garden to start doing this gluing because it's so big and I just haven't got any space. That's totally fine. So I'll just keep popping in and out. That's fine. No yeah. problem. Yeah. I would recommend working with it like that first and then that. Yeah. Your dog your dog was a sitting dog. It's a sitting dog, yeah. But yeah, probably still I work with it like that and do all the underside bits. Right. And then then have it like then work with it like that. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. So I'll see you shortly. <laughs> totally fine. No problem at all. <laughs> that with newspaper. Okay. 
How, are you almost at this stage? Not me, but uh, don't worry about that because I'm one day behind. So I, I'm taking notes as well. So don't. Okay. No, that's fine. Forward, I'm, right? Okay. I'm going to keep at your pace though because there's only. There's only two of you, and I think everybody else is like the. When you get to the Papi Mashi stage, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. There's there's no hurry. We have loads of time. Okay, that's grand, Tom. Don't worry, I'll just keep working away. You're very good. Thanks. No problem. Are you sorry, Tom? Again, is the exterior are is it meant to be smooth or does it matter if we crumple it? It doesn't matter really, is it sure it's my dog, isn't it? Um, uh, for the texture of the dog. Yeah, no, I'm saying, should we be aiming to have it completely smooth? Yeah, go for a smooth at the moment. Like someone was saying that they're doing a long haired dog. Um, yeah. And what you can do is, what I'd recommend is loads of layers until it's really strong. And then you could, if you wanted, put the paper in the glue like that and stick it on like that and kind of oh, okay. suggest the glue, suggest the long hair with textured paper. But I don't, I recommend doing that towards the end of the actual, once it's, it won't like, all of these dogs probably will need more than what you're going to do today. They'll, they'll last a lot longer if you do more layers. Okay. I'm going to make some little small ones as we as we go just I find it a lot e I'm starting to find it easy because I've got lots of uh, dogs roughly this size not lots of them but it's a lot easier to sell smaller things yeah you're right yeah they're also faster and people and that you can sell them for less as well so Have you been selling the small ones yet, Tom? Yeah, I'm, I, I have. And they're actually selling a lot better than the bigger ones. Like and where are you selling the small ones? Say that again? Where are you selling the small ones? In a cheese shop in Cork. I'm oh, in Iago? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. They're really nice to me there as well. They don't take commission. They're really, really good. Oh, well. Um, So yeah, it gets a little bit tedious, I suppose, making dogs, but I thought I'd make a few small ones with big heads to sort of mix it up a little bit. I think people seem to like the basset hands. And the dash hands are very popular as well now at the moment, aren't they? They're very yeah. in vogue. They're kind of, yeah, I suppose they're quite kind of unique. It's like a mush. There's a cat here. I have a cat. Well, I'm looking after a friend's cat. Need a lift up. Okay. Have a good time. I'll ring you when I'm finished here, yeah? See you, love. Is everybody in... Most people are in Cork. I know Carmen is in uh, Wicklow, I think. And then there's someone in, uh, yeah, Nikki's in Scotland, but is everyone out? Uh, I'm in Lismore. Lismore, yeah. So, uh, the three of us are near each other, Jill, Judy, and myself. We're about and Aileen, Aileen is my sister. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there, of course, yeah. I had a, I had, I, I gave loads of people the, the workshop thing, but anyway, this, this is. Thanks, thanks a lot. Oh, that's all. I thought you'd be inundated. Uh, yeah. Tom, I'm, a good, I'm a good friend of Simone's. She was here today and she was saying to say hello. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Thanks. Yeah, she's a, my oldest, oldest friend in, the, in, every, in every sense of the word. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, yeah. 
Too As long in, you forgot the longest, well, sorry, no, 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 that sounds, that came up wrong, actually. The longest, my longest friend. <laughs> yeah, it used to be good for me showing in her in the rocket, man. I know, it's so sad. That's so yeah. I'd say she's busy enough, though, with her. She's very busy with neighbor food. Yeah, she is, yeah. And yeah. Um, in that. fact, she has two new little dogs. Have you seen them? No, does she have a dash hunt? Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think she told me, but I haven't seen, I haven't seen them. Um, yeah. How many layers of paper do you put on, Tom? Um, I generally like, um, like I once I've done the newspaper, I do uh, the card. And I'd say it's at least, it's probably about 10 to 50 layers. Oh but, my gosh. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't do it in one sitting. I'd do it in probably at least three. I like it that it's strong enough that you can actually, you know, it, you can knock it and it feels solid and that you can't really move, move parts of it. Like if you can move it, it's, it's weak. But then to be honest, if, you, if you don't make it really strong and it breaks after time, you can just come back to it and add, repair it, you know. Just repair it, repairs. okay. So it's, it's never, it's never, it's not so important that it's really, really strong. It's very relaxing if you had nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> if you had everybody fed and out of your way, which I have tonight, it's super. Right, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> Because I'm saying I don't want to be touching. I'm actually going to wash my hands and I'm going to mute myself or I'll keep talking. But it's uh, it's very relaxing. Yeah, no, it is. It's a, <laughs> it's a relatively fast way of making. Sense. The what? It's quite. Fred is eating. Fred is eating the glue. Eating the glue off the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I should put. I'll put that on the screen. <laughs> No, I'm Fred. <laughs> oh, you have a drum kit as well. We do. We have a band. We have a band here. <laughs> oh, that's good. And oh, what's the band? I uh, don't know. It's, it's my son. Um, well, two of my sons actually are musical. Um, I have a drummer who's actually not here at the moment. He's in Strasbourg. Okay. And uh, I have a really good guitarist. And when I bought my dog from you in Rocket Man, yeah. Um, I also bought two little, um, two of your uh, chickens playing the drums and playing guitar. So I bought one each for the boys. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So uh, I just told Bobby, Bobby just came in there. I said, your, your chicken playing the guitar is going to be very valuable someday. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Get away. Get away. Go on. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah. The dot that looks good. The dot. Well, I just saw the back legs, but it looks it looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, you should start selling them. <laughs> that That'll be the day. Don't you, Judy? It's a shame that, like, in some ways, I'm relieved this didn't work because I don't. But it would have been nice to have made a hundred dogs again after the lockdown. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'd be giving away your secrets. That's it. Well, no, it's not really. It's not very secret. Well, yeah, I suppose, do you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's trying to get past the sellotape layer with the paper is the key, I think. It should stick. Yeah, I know it is. My own dog is kind of jealous. <laughs> put, you put out. You put um, the scrumple paper on the top of the dog as well. Yeah. Can you show us? Yeah. So what I want you to do before that is um, it's a bit. Have a look. Show me the front. Okay. Yeah. So I think put a bit more paper running along there. On the front. Okay. Like action. Oh, she's out with the back. This is the front. This is the front. But it needs more, I'd say, does it? Yeah. Okay. It's not, yeah. 
you see the way the legs are going wide like that? Yeah. What I want you to do is to hold them, not really tight, you're not doing anything like that, but you're holding them where you want them to be. Okay. The tape, and you're, you're actually going round them like a figure of eight. So oh, yes. They're gonna be held in place by the tape. Okay. And you do that on the front and the back legs. Um, so Carmen, you should do that as well so that the legs don't go really wide like that, that they're being held in place. So when you've done that, if you tell me and I'll show you the next stage. Masking tape here, but uh, right. one problem with masking tape is quite often it's not sticky. So if you are using masking tape, it's um, you want to get the sticky type. Um, as far as this tape goes, it's not a problem with the glue. The glue sticks over it. Like the whole thing isn't covered in tape. No, any paper that sticks easy. And it's, once you've got one bit of paper stuck, the next piece will stick over it. So I've never had a okay. problem with the tape. Like because I'm okay. making small dogs, yeah. I prefer to have a narrower tape because I don't uh -huh. actually need this thickness. Like yeah. this is such a small dog that I could get away with narrower tape. Yeah, um, that's great, thanks Tom. So. Yeah, if you're doing more of it, experiment with masking tape, you might find you prefer it. Um, but have you got to that point where the legs are kind of being held? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the next part is doing the front legs. So I'll, I'll show you that. You get a piece of paper. You're kind of scrumpling it. And you're, yeah, kind of folding it so it's thicker at one end. And then basically you're, this is the front leg. And you're putting it running down the leg, and then you're taping it into place. Okay. That's why we've made whole grain the number one ingredient in all our cereals for the green powder. Let's say whole grain cereal. Yeah, taping it in place. And, yeah. So there's a bit of a sort of muscle shape kind of there and it's a bit thicker at the top it's a bit rounder there okay this one is very flat i when i rolled it i rolled it quite flat so it's very <laughs> so i'm actually going to scrumple up a bit more paper and i'm going to stick it on the inside i don't like that i'll do that as well Um, 
and then I'll show you uh, one of, is it Jackie, you're putting your front legs going forward, I think. Is yes, that, I am. They're kind of bent forward, the bum in the air. That's what I was hoping yeah, to do. So it's going to be like that. Yeah. Yeah, so um, what, what I'd advise you to do is put the newspaper on both front legs running down. Okay. And bend it. Um, and you kind of bend it so that there's a bit of a, I suppose there's a bit of an, almost like an elbow shape for the okay. front leg. Um, like, see this one, this one, somehow when you're, when the dogs are quite small and you bend the front legs, they look really, like that looks really short. Yeah, yeah, so they pull out the... I probably, for this one, I, I might do the same type, but I would make this a bit wider or a bit longer actually. But you also, you want to suggest when you're doing that, once you got to the stage of bending the leg, you want the paw at the front to be a bit bigger. So it's, yes. it's a paw. Yeah, okay. The main thing is to do this bit. Yeah, I'll just do the other side first and then I'll see how they they balance out. Uh, I think actually what we'll do is before you bend it, we'll do the back legs as well. Okay. It'll be similar for you both. They look like in proportion to each other, yeah. Tom, you were saying something around the head that they need to have a, a ball, no? Where the area where the ears are, are going. Don't worry about that for now. The head is really the last thing we'll do. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The main thing is to focus on the body. Yeah. Uh, if you've got the both front legs done, I'll show you the next stage. Yep. So basically for the back leg, you want to, it was similar to when, you know, when I asked you to uh, scrumple it up into a sort of triangular shape. So you're adding a leg muscle kind of like that. So there's a bit of a curve there. And the, the back legs can go back a little bit and then take that on. Tom, uh, will you um, uh, share the recording or, or no? The, this recording, yeah, I can share this. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, because that would be great. So that I, uh, did you record yesterday as well? Yeah, I did. Uh, did yeah. I, I think I sent it, but maybe I didn't send it to you. Did I miss sending you it? I, I, I haven't seen it, huh? Um, anyway, I check it, and if no, I, I send you an email and you can send it to me. Yeah, right. yeah. Thanks. Um, um, so yeah, 
so the back legs are you i think you have this triangular shape there and then what you can do is the leg so rather than just being straight you can kind of bend it a bit so and then you can uh add a bit of newspaper um in this case, normally I say I'd use paper at the back. Actually, I think I will add that at the back first. So it's almost like there's a little elbow shape. Um, and then at the, at the front. And then I think, yeah, I will put a bit of newspaper also at the front. So running down the leg. And there's, uh, you can see there's a bit there a bit extra and that's fine because that's how we make the paw um but there it's kind of a little it's a little uh a bit thin there so i'm gonna add a bit more newspaper sorry I'm going to thicken that up by adding newspaper in there. So that's just adding a bit more sort of muscle shape to the back leg. you do is you have this extra coming out the bottom and even if you had lots more than that like you could have like this much coming out um, so what you do in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to that I'm going to scrumple up and actually stick it on onto the bit of paper that's already there and scrumple it into like a sort of rounded paw type shape. And then I'm just gonna take, take that in place. And that's the same for the front legs, but on the dog with the legs coming forward, you wouldn't really do that because they would, the paws are kind of flat along the floor. This is for a standing dog or a sitting dog's front legs. So you're roughly shaping it like that. You can sort of squeeze it into shape. Um, and I think we'll squeeze that a bit more. So uh, you can see there, there's a bit of a gap here. Like there needs to be more on top there, so I won't worry too much about it. I might come back later and put a bit on here. There's a bit of a hole here. Um, but that's how you do the back leg. So there's a muscle, sort of rounded shape. And then there's a muscle here as well at the top, this bit. And then the paw, because it's a, I think what I'll do there, yeah, I'll just show you the, that again. 
You can actually tape that on there. So there's extra at the bottom there. And then what I'm gonna do is just scrumple that up and roll it back in. Got to roll that into a rough paw shape. Roughly like that. Like the main thing is that that's not going to fall off. It's held held by the tape. You've gone around it, and then you you basically then you repeat the same on the other side. So there's that side that hasn't really been done well. It has a front leg but no back leg. So is that is that okay? Brilliant. Looks good. So I'll do the on the front line. So, yeah, I think with the dog that's kind of playing with the legs coming forward, once you have your back legs done as, and you're happy with them, then we can, and you've made a front leg, don't do the paw, but do the front leg muscle. And once you have the back legs, we'll bend these forward. So I'm kind of putting a bend in that. Into place. Leg. I'm going to stick it on the back bit of the back leg. It is a bit of a sort of almost like an elbow shape. Scrumpling that up. And then bring it in place.
And then there is this hole here. So I want to add a bit more shape in there. Back into the corridor. That's looking very good, Tom. So yeah, I'm actually going to... See, that's another thing you can do as you're doing it. You can try a piece of paper. If it looks right, then it probably is. You can put it on. And if it, yeah, if it feels a bit wrong, then, yeah, you wouldn't... You wouldn't, you wouldn't stick it on. there and then yeah comparing it with the other side there's a bit of a gap here i think so i'll do the i'll do the same there Oops. we want to do that them bits are too small really If you're making a big dog, it's just the same thing, more or less, just scaled up. that's what stage you should be at. If anything, it probably still needs a little more underneath. But I think I want to put the back on. And I, I actually, Jackie, I think before you do the legs bending forward, I think put put area stuff on for the back. Um, and so I'm basically trying to fill this hole here. I'm not wanting to go really big here because it's already quite high. It's more filling filling that space there. And then perhaps adding a little more once I look at it. But I'm gonna stick a good probably four, maybe four sheets in there. So running along the back like that. Yeah, I think that's more or less. You can kind of, yeah, you can kind of move legs around. Like for example, if you want it walking, you can kind of experiment with the legs in different positions. Um, yeah. That leg off the, off the ground. So. Yeah, you can kind of twist it, move it around a bit until it's solid. Um, Tom, how many layers of paper do you put on for the papier mache? Um, pro like with the newspaper, two or three would be good. Yeah. And, uh, and then I would, you can go straight to the cardboard then. You could. Uh, yeah, I I did soak my cardboard. I think I might have soaked it a bit too long because I, 
I can do some more. I can't actually get it apart. Like when I rolled it out, it's all just disintegrating. Yeah, certain cardboard doesn't, certain cardboard does disintegrate more than others. Yeah. You put in boiling water or just? No, no. just tepid water, but a little bit longer than 10 minutes, maybe. Because I was gluing things and I went over to it. And it's just like, but I mean, I got lots of cardboard because I got something delivered yesterday. So I have, a, 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 you know, plenty of cardboard. I can do it again, but because I'm not sure. How, I'll show you the way it went. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like this. Um, like if it, I, it's, yeah, if it breaks up into very small pieces, it'll be really frustrating to use. Yeah. If some of it stays in fairly big sheets, then it's okay to use. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. If it's really, really sticky, if it's really, really wet, you're better, you are better rolling it up and trying to squeeze out a bit of water. I did that already. That bit you have in your hand looks pretty decent to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, like that's obviously you break it as you're making it, as you're putting it on. Yeah. You tear it into the right size for the piece that you're putting on. So yeah. it, you want it to be smooth and sort of attached to the dog without leaving air bubbles and without yeah. it hanging off. But that looks good. This is the corrugated bit. Yeah, that looks good. That's fine. It's the texture. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, one thing that is quite important with the cardboard is occasionally you do get really thick cardboard and you can actually, once it's been soaked, you can sometimes even tear it down the middle of the cardboard. It actually comes apart. Ah. And also really um, scrunching it up, putting it in the glue and scrunching it into a ball and using it as, if it's really thick. It's great because it makes it strong fast, but you need to use it in small pieces. Yeah. My dog is pretty small anyway, so I don't need. Yeah. Yeah, no, you don't need. Um... Big bits. No, small bits. Um, so the small bits I can use as well, I suppose. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's not really small. If it's not mushed up and mashed up, you can use it. And even if it is mashed up, if it's got glue in it and it sticks on, It'll it it'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, here it goes. So, I have a front leg here that's quite thin, so I'm gonna add a little bit more onto that. The last time I did papier mache was about 60 years ago. Okay. In Canada, in a little sort of kiddies club. And we made maracas with light bulbs. Oh, wow. That's yeah, cool. you got a, a, you know, a broken, not a broken light, one, one that the, the, the filament had gone. Yeah. Put um, papier-mâché all over it. And when the papier-mâché was dry, you broke it. Uh, you know, you tapped it. And so the broken glass rattled inside. Oh, wow. That's clever. It's cool. Yeah. Well, that's really good. There's, I think there's amazing things you can do with papier mache. Like there's a festival in Valencia, and they make really massive papier mache sculptures, like size yeah. of houses, and uh, they you set on fire. Yeah, I've seen. I haven't been there, but I've seen it on. Yeah. Images of it. Yeah. I think it's Lafayette. Then they burn it after all the work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of mad. Um, I think it is Valencia. Yeah, it is. Because my sister used to have a house in, in Valencia or just okay. outside it. So. Called Las Fallas. Aha. Yeah. Las Fallas. And the big uh, papier mache sculptures are called Minots. Aha. Uh -huh. Minots. Minots, yeah. Okay. They have a thing in Spain called uh, Pacha Piedra. How was that? Uh, what did you say there? It's called, I think they call it Carta Piedra. So it's like stone. Casta, ca, Casta Piedra. Carta. Carta Piedra. 
Yeah, I think that's what they call it. Is that uh, the village or the town? Oh no, no, it's a, it's the name of the. They basically they use recycled paper, and it comes in quite thick sheets. So it, it's like it's almost like card already, okay. and they use it especially for papier mache. Okay. Um, ah, carton piedra, carton yeah. piedra. Yeah. I know what you mean now. Yeah. And they, you soak it in water and it um yeah it's like the corrugated okay. cardboard but it's um yeah. probably faster because it's thicker already I'm, I'm losing your sound very badly um is that any better it's more my my equipment i'm trying to sort it okay yeah, because I can hear you. Tom, I'm at the, at the cardboard stage. Um, and yeah. is it is it just do you, uh, do I just use it exactly the same way as the as the newspaper, like just smear some glue yeah. on the dog and then put on this? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You use it. Yeah, you do. It's exactly the same. You just yeah. want to make sure that it's well stuck down to the dog. Each layer is stuck down to the layer below it, that there's none of it hanging off. Um, and if it is really thick, then do scrumple it up so that it takes the shape. Um, okay. Like, at, actually, at this stage, can I um, put extra volume on the dog? You know, as in... When you say scrumple it up. Um, yeah, no, I mean scrumple it See. up. Scrumple it up and then flatten it out. But it's scrumpled in glue. Like some some cardboard is really thick. Yeah. So not so much to change the shape of the dog. It's okay. more that the cardboard actually sticks to the surface. Because if it's really thick uh, and you're using it in big pieces, it won't, it won't make a, a curve. Okay, so if I uh, uh, do, you, is it only just one layer of cardboard then? No, I would try and do three or four. Okay. Yeah, you can like, like, and I wouldn't go one and then do another one. I'd go like one, two, three, four in the yeah. same place and work your way across the whole dog. Like cardboard has kind of come apart into separate layers. You know, the corrugated part is separate to the. Yeah, it, that's yeah. what you want. That's, That's what you want. Okay. 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 And once you let it dry, you can obviously come back and do more layers. And then you can let it dry again and you can do more layers. You can keep on doing that until it's really, really strong. Like these dogs, I think if you make them really strong, you can sit on them. <laughs> you can make them that strong. Um, like especially if you've got children around, they they instantly want to sit on them. Um, so I think that one's okay, but you can see it's very thin. So it needs some here. How are your? How's your one? Okay, so yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm needing to fill in around here. Yeah. Um, the back of it is coming together. It's not too bad. Yeah, it does look kind of loose. I yeah. Also, at a certain point, it'd be good to define the tail. Do you want the tail like that? Do okay. you want the tail? Most of the time I do this tail sticking up, but you might want to do the tail down. Well, if he's, if he's high, if he's vomiting in the air, the tail's usually up as well because they're kind of sniffing at something. So yeah. I would have thought maybe. I guess it's 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 the tail now into the shape that you want. And I'm, I'm just for a change, I'm going to do my, my tail going down. Um, and, th and then what you do for the tail, basically, um, so you get, you get the newspaper and you actually do it running down and along the tail. I'll fold that bit in. This is, okay. And you do it like that, running okay. down. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> you make sure that kind of takes on to the, the dog. That's still quite thin. Um, so I'll probably add a little bit more to that. The end of it is quite thin, isn't it? Anyway, on a dog, it's usually. It's nice if you can get it. Well, not all dogs, but a lot of dogs, it goes to a point. So you can get it going to a point. That's pretty good. This one, so the tail is still a bit thin. So I think I will add a bit more. Okay. What this out now? How is the best way to go on this? And as far as the tightness of the dog, you don't want it that you squeeze it and it totally changes shape. So you want it not too loose. Okay. Hi, Tom. Yeah. Hi. Um, I've used up all the glue that I've made for tonight and it's really cold in the garden. So I'm calling it for tonight. Yeah, that's um, fine. I'm going to hope for a sunny day tomorrow and just bash on with it because it's uh, yeah, yeah. a lot to do. Are, are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it on Sunday as well. Yeah. But I that's I likely to be the last workshop though on Sunday. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um, but I'll I'll probably. Where, is it ten o'clock? You're starting. Yeah, ten to. Yeah, I'll I'll only be able to join about you know after eleven because I've got something else that I need to do. So I'll join later on. That's totally is that, if that's okay. Fine. Yeah, totally. That's fine. Yeah, uh, and, and hopefully I've gotten on with it then tomorrow if it's sunny. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I yeah. prob but don't leave the dog out. I bring it in. No. I'll bring him in, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all on Sunday. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. 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 Uh, so, yeah, this dog's a bit thin, so I'm going to add, like, ribs on it there. So it's okay to put more on the top to sort of bulk up the, you know, like up there, like underneath seems quite full, but there seems kind of really soft or really, sorry, gassy. Yeah, do. Yeah. Add, add some running along the land like that. Okay. okay. And, and tape, it, tape it on so it's quite tight. Okay. Um, yeah. No bother. Thank I, you. I think I'd probably need some as well. Like that's slightly thin still, so I probably will add some on the top as well. Yep.
That side's kind of a bit rounder now, but that side's kind of flat or a bit of a, a gap there, so I'll pick that up as well. Mm. Yeah, having that on almost like sort of rounded for the ribs. You can see there as well, the tail is very thin. So I'm going to thicken that up as well. And I'll probably put it on the underside. That looks like, I don't want this to get really high here. So I'll put it under here rather than up here. Yeah, you could add, so when you're doing the tail, run it, that, run, run it along the length of the tail. With it thicker at the bottom where it's or thicker where it joins the dog. So yeah, something like that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this dog, I'm going to bend these legs forward and I actually bend the leg so that it's got a little shape here. The paws are the wrong type for that, but I'm not going to worry, I'm just going to break them. <laughs> so I'm going to bend that as well and then I'm going to bend that forward so that it's kind of... Yeah, they're coming forward. And then this shape here, you can see there's nothing here. So I'm going to get a bit of newspaper. Make like, I suppose to make like a muscle here, because there's still be a, a bit of the leg would still be here. And then I'm going to take that on like that. I might still have to add a little more. Oh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, it's a bit of a, I suppose, like almost like an elbow. An elbow, yeah. yeah. Um, if anything, them front legs still look a little short, I think. Um, I think they would look, look a bit better if they were slightly longer. Yeah. I'm thinking the same. Mine look kind of short as well. Yeah, I don't know why that is because it's kind of the look okay when it's standing up, but it's just when they're when they it's, overextend or something. I don't know. So you can do that. You don't actually have to um, add more wire. You can get away if it's well enough attached. You can get away with just adding newspaper onto the end. Do you know what I mean? Like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You want it to be, you, yeah, you don't want it to be too thick though. 
like where I made the front paw, it's slightly too thick, but I'm just going to squeeze it really hard. My props, they look too long. Yeah, no, I think they look great. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's okay. <laughs> I love it. No, yeah, no, I mean, it's amazing how much longer they have to be. And I think also this one. I think it kind of still needs a little bit more here. I'm going to give this a bit more shape underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so the job, so I'll, add, I'll add a bit more newspaper there as well. Second box. Mm -hmm. Is it taking pops as well? <laughs> right, how long have this on for you? Um, Three minutes. Uh, so Michelle, um, okay. uh, so Michelle, you've just joined. I'm curious what stage you're at. Maybe if you can show us a picture, perhaps. Um, you can you can unmute if you like. Okay, sorry. Hi, how are you? Good, yeah. How about you? Good to see you. Okay. Um, I have just come in the door, so I've missed all of this workshop. So I might just watch and then I'll make like tomorrow or something. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, and I uh, can send you the video. Have you? Yeah, too. Oh, sorry. Did you start it yesterday? Yeah, I will. I'll show you one sec. I think it, I think it might, we might. Yeah, no, you might as well kind of join in, I think. Hello? Yeah, you might as well. It doesn't matter so much because everyone's sort of, well, there's two people who are at similar stage to you and everyone else is putting on the glue and Okay. Hard. Okay. So you might as well add to it, I think. Okay. So um, what I might do is I might just give them a bit more shape, I think. Yeah. Yeah. How is the shape? Can I put it on full screen? Yeah, yeah, if you want to. Well, I just, he's quite long, so I have to go past. I'll do a drive by. Right, yeah. So he's, yeah, that's him. Okay. Yeah. I reckon you get away with a little bit less tape. Yeah, I've way too much tape. I yeah. went a bit bananas with the tape, I think. Yeah, you just need enough tape to hold the paper in yeah. place. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Whereas I was actually using the tape to mold it, I think, a bit. Yeah. So it looks like it needs a, a little bit more of a rounded shape for the belly. Yeah. yeah. Like the front shape, this this bit here. Okay. Um, I'll just put this on main screen. Um, right. 
I think you're on main screen of mine anyway now. Okay, you're you're still on main screen for mine, but um, okay. So yeah, it's mainly to make it big here. That this this yeah. is kind of big, and that yeah. tapers back in. It goes back in. And there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll just I'll work away. So. Yeah, and if there's any questions at any point, just yeah, ask. yeah. absolutely. So, okay. Um, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Tom, can I ask you a question? You know the corrugated kind yeah. of layer of cardboard. Would you avoid that for a while, or does it matter? No, you can use that as well. Um, okay. Like if you put that on as the last layer, sometimes you get a bit of a texture from that. Okay. Perhaps okay. you want it the very, very last layer, but at the moment it's the case of building up layers. Do you mind holding it up? I'm after falling in love with my madra. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Excellent. Great. My best friend tonight. <laughs> that's excellent. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to add a bit more here. It's, it looks a bit thin there on this one. So I'll add a bit more here. So I think probably everyone who's making their dog um, without doing the papi mache, you can probably also make ears now. So this one needs ears. So the ears is just one piece of wire as well that is bent in the middle. Uh, and it's probably, probably for this dog, it's uh, about 25 centimeters long, roughly, like about that long, if that makes any sense. And then if it's too long, always at the end, you can cut it short. Um, so you're taking a piece, like roughly that long, straighten it, and then roll it up. This time, roll it up only with one or two sheets of paper. You want that to be slightly tighter. And then you're folding folding the ends back in for the ears as well, like you did with the legs. And yeah, like that. And then the ears they'll be bent in the middle. So roughly like that. And then you're deciding so that that's got no wire in it so that'll be folded back in so you're roughly deciding now the shape of the head as well so you don't you don't want the ears too far back because then there's no you need to leave space for a neck so where that's been bent i think that's where i'm gonna go for the ears and then you tape it on like you did the legs 
doesn't need loads of tape, just enough to hold it in place. I'm going to get a sheet of paper along the length and I'm going to actually wrap it around just to give it a little bit more strength. Shape. Yeah, this, this front leg needs a bit more here, it's a bit empty there. I'm gonna, I think this this is a bit flat. I want a bit more of the leg muscle for that. I think the back of the leg is a little flat. I like a bit more definition, so I'm going to add a little bit more here to make a shape here. Um, yeah. Adding it on there. Actually, the middle layer of cardboard is nearly like kind of clay type of thing, isn't it? Yeah, like, is it all mashed up? Yeah, it's good for kind of filling in the holes. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good if it is. Like, sometimes when I find it's too small, I sometimes I just put it to the side if I'm looking for sheets. But if you're finding there, it's of use, that's great. Yeah. My dog is quite small, so the small bits are fine, and they're yeah. 
Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to do the one layer of the cardboard for now. I'm going to let it dry. I have to go and eat. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, might, I might keep watching while I'm eating, but I'm not. I, I, I'll turn off my camera, though. I didn't last night. No problem. I'd say if before everyone goes, because I may not have emailed everyone. So before everyone goes, if everyone can type up their email address again. Just, and I'll just, so I just know to forward it to everybody. Yeah, because I, I didn't get anything from you, though I did give you my email address. Right. Okay. If you don't mind typing, the chat. If you don't mind tapping it up again in the chat. Yeah, I'll. Um, okay. Because I did put the last video, I did put it on YouTube. Oh, well, I, we can find it then anyway, I'm sure, can we? Um, yeah, well, I'll, if you put up your email address, I'll forward them both. Grand. It won't be until quite late tonight because it takes uh, a while to download yeah. to upload. Um, what's your technique again for cutting tape with your fingers? Did you just force it apart? Yeah, I just snap it. Ah, yeah. maybe my fingers aren't as strong. Show me your technique again, please. <laughs> so I just, I suppose I just do that and snap it. Like, if, ah. I'm, if I'm totally honest, this is very, very brittle tape. Some ah. a lot stronger. So yeah. some people use scissors and some people use a uh, craft knife. Eat. Or teeth. <laughs> and yeah, and if you're using teeth, you can, you, you know, tear it, do a piece like that. Yeah. And decide to tear it off with your teeth. But okay. I, I prefer to put it directly on the dog because then you're adding it where it's yeah. exactly where you want it. Yeah. But yeah, some tape is, uh, this, this tape is almost too brittle. It breaks very easily. Yeah, the small bits are quite good because they sort of add and they blend in. Yeah. You know, you it 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 uh yeah, no, that's good. I think um yeah, it, if you find it's working, like if you find the small bits work for you, yeah, that's good. It's good for behind the ears. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all the, the the little bits between the legs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a bit like adding small bits of clay to fill in bits. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. If it if it works, it's good. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it works. It's working. <laughs> I don't know what you'd say, but it seems to be working for me. As I, if it works for you. That's the most important thing. Like I, I. I use small bits, but if it's really small and all mashed up, I tend not to bother. Yeah. I tend to put it to the side because I'm more intent on sort of layering on lots of sheets at once. But uh, no, if it works. Well, also, but you can't really layer on lots of sheets at once if it's a small dog. Does it suddenly turn into a barrel? No. Well, I, you can layer it up with like. I don't know how many layers, but you could do 10 layers easily. Yeah. But yeah, you could, but you're better um, to let it dry. Probably do five yeah. layers and then possibly but, come back. I uh, know this this first, well, it's got the newspaper layer and now it's got the the first layer of um, cardboard. And that's what it's going to be now till tomorrow because yeah, I have other things I need to do. Yeah, that's fine. But, uh, yeah. No. Nah. 
So I suppose, are you, are any of the, are you ready for the ears? Anyone who's doing the papier-mâché part or not doing the papier-mâché part, I mean. I wouldn't mind seeing it anyway, because mine look ridiculously long. Um, I'm not, but, but I, I like to see it, uh, Tom, so I can work tomorrow on that. Yeah. No, okay, have you got them like that attached? Yeah. Yeah, no, they're probably not too long. And to be honest, if they're too long, it's okay. They're better too long than too short. Okay. Um, but even if they're too short, it's okay as well. I'll just get some more news. So yeah, I'll get some more newspaper. I'll just be a second. So, uh, there's various ways to do it. You're you're wanting to add some for the neck, uh, both at the top and the bottom. So let's let's uh, first of all we'll go with the bottom bit. So taking the sheets apart before you scrumple it. And then and then putting it under there. So it's kind of that's the underside of the neck. Then taking that on. That's probably still a bit small, but that's a start. So like I am gonna have to do some work on these legs. So I'll do that later though, just focus on the head. Uh, and then I'm gonna put some here for the, the back of the head. I'm actually gonna put it over like that. So it's actually going around the, around the head. Uh, and then this is, a, uh, that's just because it doesn't really matter, but that's going to look a bit clearer if that bit's uh, taped in place. And then I'm going to get a ball shape and stick it sort of between the ears. Between the ears, you can squeeze the ears together afterwards, then taping that on. Um, did did you get the PDFs? Did everyone get the PDF files that I sent? Yeah, I got them. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I got them. No problem. Okay, great. Yeah, I got them. Was that the PDF with the shape, Tom? Yeah, the PDF for how to make the head of a dog. No, I don't have that. Okay, I'll make sure I send you everything later on. Okay, thanks. So there's that there. So there's a bit of a gap there. That's a bit, you know, that'll need made thicker. But I think what we do first is we'll add a little bit underneath here. Jump in the paper. Um, I'm 
going to quickly find the PDF now so that you can have a look at it. Um, I got it in my bunch, the first things you sent. Yeah, I think. It's, there. it's number four, I think. There were so many emails, I must have mm. missed it in Carmen's. Uh, so, well, for some reason it started at the end. So, yeah, so this is how to do the I surely don't have that one. Eh? Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you later on. And if you don't get it tonight, can you email me and I'll send it again? I, I wait six. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is making the ears. So it's one piece and they're attached. It's like a V attached from underneath. And then you tape it in place. And then you're adding a bit for the back of the head and the neck. Um, like that dog doesn't look very well finished, but this is roughly how to do the head. And then the underneath this part here, you're adding scrumpled up paper here to make the sort of the bottom of the neck. And then it's similar on the sitting dog, but it's more yeah, it's kind of the bottom, still the, the bottom of the neck below where the mus muzzle is here. Um, and then your, this one's a little short. You could extend it with wire, but you can actually get away with it because you're just, you're adding, you're still, <coughs> still a structure to attach. So you put the paper along the bottom. Um, and then you're, you're going for this shape. So it's kind of quite rounded at the bottom. Um, <laughs> no, like if it's square, it'll still look like a dog. But if you've got a rounded shape there for the muzzle, it'll be kind of a little bit, perhaps a bit more effective. And then here is a sort of another rounded shape where the eyes would be. And that that's like a ball that you add between the ears. Um, so that's roughly that area. Um, and then, and then this is how you do the ears. So you have a piece of wire sticking out the top, um, and you roughly fold the shape of the paper into an ear shape. Um, so it's rather than scrumpling this one, it's more it's kind of scrumpled a bit, but you can it's more folded actually than scrumpled. And then the point of the yeah. ear, uh, kind of triangular shape. You leave the piece of wire, in this case, sticking up so that you see uh, you make a triangular shape with the, with the newspaper, roughly like that. And then you stick it in place. Um, and then, yeah, and that should be it more or less ready. So this one, for example, yeah, I'm going to leave the bottom for now and I'm going to add some more here. And at this point, you're, you're quite probably not using full sheets. That's quite long, so you can squeeze it a bit shorter. So that's still very thin, like it looks quite thin. I want to give it, put a little bit more, and I think the best place for it now is underneath. I can see there's a bit of a hole there underneath. So each time you put on paper, you're kind of trying to get 
the right shape for the piece that you're making. Yeah, I, I kind of don't mind that shape, but now what I'm seeing is there's, you can see there's holes here and on both sides, there's areas here that need more. So I'll get some paper, scrumple it up. And basically uh, fill that hole there by taping that in place. Other sides, not quite as big a hole, but I think I will add a little bit more here. Not too bad. It's slightly different on either side. Like um, you want it, suppose you kind of want to go with a bit of symmetry. So there's a bit of a hole there. So I'm gonna get a small, almost even quarter sheet. And I'll just add that onto there. I think, I think that's not too bad, but then there's a, a bit of a hole here. So, and I might, I might actually want to tighten that up. Um, so I'm gonna go for a bit more here. And I'm just seeing how that I want to put it on. Yeah, I think something like that. I actually think, uh, looking at this dog though, probably the proportions that the head is possibly a little too big for the body. So I might try and tighten it all up with the tape. Because, yeah, I think the head of that is a little too big. So I'm just going to actually squeeze it and go around it quite tight with the tape. Yeah, I think that's slightly better. Although, I'm just going to test a little bit. What you can do is you can Test bits of paper by sticking it on and see see if that's the shape that you're going for. Um, yeah, and it looks better without it than with with uh, or sorry, it looks better with it than without it. So it looks more like it's like at the moment it looks like a beak of a bird. So I'm gonna stick that on. I think I will put that on. Slightly sloping down, it's still 
you know, you can see it's kind of almost like a beak. So I think for that, I want to make it slightly, um, slightly less pointed. And I think that'll work by adding it on the end. I'm sorry, I have to leave. Uh, I will appreciate if you send me the um, the video from the first day. Yeah. So that I can work on my own. Tomorrow, yeah. right? I'll send you that and I'll send you this from the, this day as well. Okay, thanks very much. Good night, everybody. Okay. All right. Did you write your email address? Yes, I did there in the in the okay. chat. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Bye. I'll on. And then adding a little bit on there. That's, I think that's roughly, I think that's kind of okay. Right. Like the neck, you can, you can actually squeeze, sometimes squeeze it if it's too long, you can squeeze the whole thing shorter and tape it up so that it, it stays in that shape. Um, there's, again, there's a gap here, so I'll probably thicken that up. Um, I think I'll leave that. Uh, and then the ears, I'll show you the ears. So for a pointed ear, you would do a kind of folding it, slightly scrumbling, but it's almost more folding the shape. Um, it's kind of triangular and then you're basically adding it onto the wire and taping it round. Yeah, that's how you do uh that's how you do the point of the F. That's I think that's that's more or less okay. And then the fold the ear that's kind of lying down, you basically you bend the ear down and then you, you get a bit of paper and you kind of fold it. You, know, you want it, I suppose, a sort of rounded shape. You, 
you, you put that on the piece of wire and you, then you basically just tape it in place. So you, you don't want that to be really small. You want to try and keep the width of that. And then it's important also to tape that actually onto the dog. Perhaps you want them to make it a little tighter. Um, a bit more tape. That's it kind of sticking out. And then you can bend that down a little bit. So. Yeah. Then it's important when you do come to papier mache that you actually put papier mache underneath it. Um, there's a good few things in this dog that I kind of want to change, but um, like I definitely need to do a bit more work on the legs, the front legs, because one's a lot shorter than the other. Um, and I'm not sure. I think that I think one's too short and one's too long, so I'll probably. I'll do a bit more work on that, but it's it's not needing much more. The results of the legs are slightly different, but that's more or less. Yeah, another 10, ten minutes, and that could be ready for puppy mashing. Yeah. Um, yeah, has anyone got, how's everyone getting on? Has anyone got any questions or? No. Maybe people have left, have they? Tom, there, um, I'm at a stage where I kind of want to take a break. Um, I, um, I've got a couple, few layers, maybe three or four layers of the cardboard on. Um, yeah. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, it's, I didn't really have any break at all. Um, I know. I, um, I think, um, I suppose, you know, when the when the paper mache starts going on, there's no stage, there's no stage from here on in that you can alter the shape, really, is there? As in, you know, it looks to me now like my the front legs are a bit small. Can you hold it up? Yeah, yeah. I decided uh, to make a. Uh, um, one second, I'll, I'll just turn on the light actually. Um, or... All right, reverse. Can I reverse the camera? I can probably can't reverse the camera. But... Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, I can. <laughs> Um, you want to make it, how much taller do you want to make it? No, no, I just think that the front, the front legs look a bit silly. They look a bit small. Well, maybe, I mean, they, maybe they look okay. I don't know. Like, what do you think? Um, right, one thing you could do, like, if that was the front leg, like, you might be able to do this. It's a little bit uh, risky, but you can actually do that and bend that whole front, front paw. Yeah become part of the leg. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like both of them, so. I kind of, I like the kind of, the, I like the fat yes. paws. You know, I like the fat part of the front. Okay. Um, nice. So I might just, I might just leave it. But um, now, so yeah. how, how long, how long will it take to dry? It depends if you leave it in a very dry place. It may dry overnight. But it might be, it might take 24 hours. Yeah, okay, okay. So um ideally, um the how many more layers does it need? 
Um, again, that really, you, if you want it to be really strong, I would give it another five layers and then I'd let it dry again and then I'd give it another five layers. Like when you can go like that and knock it and it yeah. feels solid, when you yeah. can go like this and the legs don't move or like yeah. the tail doesn't move, that's when it's solid. Uh, okay. So the bits, you need to give extra attention on there where the legs join under under here. Any bits are difficult to get at. Looks like a chicken. And give it extra yeah. attention. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of, I always think it's a case of the more the merrier, really. Yeah. No. And time it start drying off, you know, drying and they're kind of coming loose. Yeah, if they're coming loose, you need to put a bit more glue on it. Okay. Yeah, there shouldn't be any any loose bits. It'll be fairly well stuck down. So you think that the um, the glue will keep um, for a few days in the fridge? Yeah, you can keep it in the fridge. Um, and if, if it starts to ferment, you see little bubbles coming up. Like, it doesn't keep indefinitely in the fridge either. Okay. Um, yeah, and would you stand it on some clip or something? Mm -hmm. so it doesn't really nice thing. Yeah, stand it on a bit of cardboard, maybe something that will sort of go in. Right. Okay. Like it's it's only if it does stick to the surface, then it's just a case of um, the case of wiping the floor, really, wiping it afterwards. Like it won't, yeah. won't stick. Any tips for removing the glue? My hands are like scales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Water. And the dog will, dog. My dog will lick it off. <laughs> the, dog, the dog loves it. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're very patient. Thank you very much. No problem. I, it's much more, it's much preferable to do it sort of face to face than on the internet. It's quite, it does work, but I think like it's difficult to convey form and, you know. Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah. I think you managed very well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well done, Tom. Thanks well done, lot. thank you. And can I ask you a question now, it's a bit premature. Can you paint them? Yeah, no, you, can, you can paint them. You can add uh, different types of paper as well. So, for example, uh, okay, that's good. If you wanted to add red paper or paint it red, perhaps adding uh, red paper and then painting it red would be a good idea. Okay. Um, My tail now looks like a giant turd. <laughs> <laughs> My dog looks like Dumbo. He looks like he could fly away any minute with the ears. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm weak for this guy. <laughs> um, how many of you think will come on Sunday? Like, I will do a workshop on Sunday. Some of you might not need it because it's just a case of adding layers. So I'm, you're your, come, but... I'm your worst nightmare, I'm afraid. I'm in West Cork without any internet at the weekend, so I'm not going to have... No, that's fine. But I will, I, if you have the, you know, I can talk to the other girls anyway and see what they did and I'll see what you, you know, you put up as well and I'll follow I'm you. Not you. No way. I know where you <laughs> live, Judy. <laughs> I'm still outside. <laughs> yeah. Jillian will tell me anyway, it's okay. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll be I'll here for part of it anyway. Well, I'm having my second job tomorrow, so if I'm upright, I'd be here. <laughs> no worries. Well, it's it's kind of it'll mainly be doing the papier mache and slightly maybe a few of them just finishing it off. And the papier mache bit is very easy. Um, Any tips when you're putting the cardboard onto the ears, trying to fold them? I'm trying to. Yeah, well, if it's very thick cardboard, make sure it's taking the shape. So it might need to be scrumpled up. Oh, okay. Small just, I find the little small bits and you just put it on, then you hardly notice where there's any joins or anything. Yeah. I also like when, when you're doing it, you can, um, I don't know if it would be possible to show you, but you can 
So if you're doing that bit, you can actually do a piece that's sticking onto the ear and then onto the uh, okay. plug like that. Yeah. And another handy way of making something strong, for example, if you're doing the tail, you could do it running along that way, running along the length of the tail and then overlapping. So kind of crisscrossing. Yeah. Where in bits where it joins. And that should make it stronger. Um, um, Tom, sorry, I've been coming in and out with ch children runs and that. But the paper mache, if I watch the start of the video again, I'll see what they've all been making with the paper mache and glue, will I? I hope so, yeah. Like <laughs> okay. to make the glue, it's plain flour and boiling water. Okay. It's roughly a cup of plain flour. Yeah. Uh, for about a liter, roughly. Okay. Okay. I never really measure it. Um, and then, do you have a hand blender? Yeah. So you basically, you probably, you're better pouring the boiling water on top of the flour. Okay. And then up until there's no lumps. Yeah. Uh, if it looks white and floury and the water wasn't quite hot enough, you can also put it on the cooker. Okay. Just make sure it's, ideally it's boiled. And I save actually because I'd load the lumps in it and that worked really well. And I put mine in the Nutribullet. <laughs> okay. The Nutribullet okay. will that never works. be the same again. No. That also worked really well. So, yeah. And, and then are you tearing up the cardboard? Or have you soaked the cardboard? Yeah, you soak the cardboard in water. In so. water, okay. First of all, you do uh, layers of newspaper. Like, yep. you can go straight on with the cardboard, but I actually think you get a better shape if you do the newspaper. So you start with the dog on its side. You do the yep. belly first, yep. the best, and then you turn it. You do the other side. Yeah. Oops. And then you <laughs> you put it up like that, and then you do the back. So with a standing okay. dog, both both like that. Yep like that and then, yeah. and then the cardboard is roughly this shape okay size you wouldn't want it much bigger than that so it's roughly yeah. and then take off when you've got a box take off all the sellotape before yeah. you start because otherwise you'll be taking off the tape and it's kind of annoying you at this stage you want just to use it soak it in sort of warm water for around 10 minutes okay and then the card should come apart and then what you do is you roll it up and you don't you don't twist it but you squeeze out the water one way and then okay. squeeze it another yeah and um yeah and then base that that that's instead of your paper yeah and when okay. when you're doing the papier-mâché part you put glue on the dog and then you get a bit of glue on the paper or on the card yeah, yeah. and you just make sure it's well stuck down Okay. The dog. And if you're seeing lots of thick glue on the surface, you probably have too much glue. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the newspaper, if you're doing the newspaper and the newspaper is dry, you need a little bit more glue. Okay. Um, you don't soak the newspaper beforehand, no. Don't need to. No. Okay. And you Grace, can, yeah. You can do a combination. Like you can actually change the shape of newspaper, for example, if you want to add details, you can put a little bit of glue on the newspaper and then you can make, add, add little details still. You can change yep. the shape in that way. Or if you've got holes in the surface and you're looking for a really smooth, you can add, add bits of newspaper, not totally, totally sodden with glue, but just yep. more or less. Enough and glue yeah that you can just okay. um yeah it's I, th I think it's also like as you do it you'll kind of learn learn what works best okay yep great so, um, yeah okay uh, yeah so has everybody put their email address in the chat yeah. 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 I'll try, and, I'll try and make sure I send it to everyone. There's only four email addresses there. 
I do have everyone's email address, but it's kind of there's some people who haven't managed to make it yet. So it just gets a bit slightly confusing. Uh, can I ask you a quick question? The yeah. front, the back legs, I can give a bit of detail to, but what shape are the front legs? Like at the moment, I'll just show you mine. They're fairly pathetic. Can you see? Um, yeah, you need. Yeah. So if I were you, is the wire running right the way to the end of them? Yes, yeah, bent it. They were very long, so the wire is bent inside it. Um, I think they look, let's hold. I think if anything, they're possibly too short now. I would oh. like, I would straighten them and see what yeah. I'm like and basically run, run the paper uh, down the length. <laughs> So they're the same thickness the whole way down. Yours are. Um, no, it, it's there's more at the top. Yeah. Okay. They're here, but the yeah. newspaper runs down the length, and you get okay. it rounded. It's kind of a round shape. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And then the paws, the paws are done by having extra newspaper at the bottom. Yeah. And then folding it into a paw shape. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But yeah, run that down so it's quite, it's yeah. not really, really thick, but it's quite, you know, it's... It's like a sausage. Yeah, and that once you put glue on it, it's not going to go yeah. soft. Like if it's not thick enough, but once it's got glue in it, it won't hold the shape. Okay. Um, the same with the back legs, like you, you leave extra going down the, the leg and then you fold the paw back in. Okay. Yeah, I've just yeah, I've bent his legs back up, so I've more to work with now. Okay. Well, that camera's gone off. That camera wasn't much use today. This one in front seemed to be the better one today. Yeah. Um, it's probably wasn't quite as high. Um, yeah. Tom, I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No problem. No, thank you very much. Um, I just put my wet cardboard in a plastic bag so I can revisit yeah. it. Well, you can leave it out of a plastic bag and if it dries a little bit, it'll dry even faster once it's on the dog, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Sometimes I actually almost let it dry. And then if it goes totally dry, you can just soak it very quickly in water. Once it's been opened out once, you can just soak it really fast. But okay. it's probably better to dry than keep it in a plastic bag. You don't Oh, need okay, super. Listen to me, thanks a million. I really enjoyed it. Great, thanks. See you Sunday. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday. I'm not sure how to leave now. <laughs> yeah, Tom, I'm also going to leave because I think I've, I've come as far as I can with the um yeah. with the paper mache and it needs to dry now. So I will see you on Sunday morning. Okay, that's brilliant. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Stay okay. here. Bye. 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 <laughs> Tom, I'll see you Sunday. Okay, yeah, that's fine. No yeah, see you Sunday. Bye -bye. Okay, yeah. Thanks so much. Welcome, no problem. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Um, Thank you so much, and I apologise. I couldn't make it Wednesday night. Um, no there's something on, and everything all happens together, isn't it? Nothing on when I signed up, and then everything happened. So yeah. I appreciate your your patience with me, and uh, I'll catch up with the others. And thank you again. Nice one. Thanks very much. Really interesting. Bye now. Bye. Bye bye.